this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay with us. We'll have all the action for you live right here on EA TV. Hello and a warm welcome. This is the scene here at the Orange Vélodrome. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, at the microphone. And sitting alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And with the atmosphere really building up nicely, we should be in for a terrific contest. It's France up against Portugal. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Here's the side France will go with. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Benjamin Pavard plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Antoine Griezmann starts alongside Adrien Rabiot in central midfield. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Well, it's regarded as a negative shape. If they control the middle of the park, play some expansive football, the wide players can then come in field to join the centre forward and the fullbacks can push on. Let's hope they do that today. And so the battle commences. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Griezmann. Oh, what an opportunity. And still danger here. And able to close down the shot. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, a bit short with the clearance. What well, a shame that he couldn't find the target from there. Well, you get the feeling so many in attendance here have come just to see this man, Kylian Mbappe. Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out the situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Well, the ball brought down under no real pressure. Well, it didn't worry the keeper. Coman. Kunde. This is Coman. Good move in the making from France. Might it be Mbappe? The save was a good one. Oh, off the frame. Well, he's connected well enough with it. He just couldn't get it the right side of the post.
Giroud. And back with Griezmann. Defensive Brazilians to shut them down. This might be ideal for the counter. Can they take advantage of the situation? Oh, good looking run. And the keeper there to catch it under no real pressure. Olivier Giroud. Promising looking ball. Squanders the chance for 1 0. Well, that's a big miss. They should be leading now. Well, couldn't quite find his teammate. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Oh, a fine block. Big chance. And it's in. 1 0. They breach the defense. Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. And France get the ball moving again. Can they come up with an answer here? Room to manoeuvre on the wing. He can't hold on to it. And there it is! A goal! I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one, but they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. <laughs> Vitor Ferreira. Now can they create something? Real chance! He's blocked it! Mbappe, superb block, well an opportunity here for them to get their noses in front from the corner. Played in by Griezmann, having won the ball back they might be able to profit. Coman. Plenty of time for Olivier Giroud. Oh, a fantastic save. But hang on. Offside is the decision here. Palinha. Ronaldo. Now, what can they do from here? Bruno Fernandes. Can he convert? Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. Giroud. 
And back to Coman. Mbappé! Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, let's take another look. And I'm not sure what the keeper was thinking there. Just look at his position. He made it far too easy for him to score. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the scoreline. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Ronaldo. He's protecting it effectively. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. The concession of a corner here. And over it comes. Well, another corner kick conceded. Let's see what they do this time. Playing it in, and the danger still on. He must finish! Terrific piece of anticipation. And no more time left. We've reached the halfway mark here at the Orange Vélodrome. Well, the verdict's on Kylian Mbappe. In a word, positive. Well, Derek, after a slow start where he was tightly marked, he got better and better as the first half went on, and he got his reward with that goal. I'm looking forward to his second half display. So underway again with Portugal looking to find a route back into the game. Really nice ball. Well, the decision is offside and he's bound to be a bit disappointed. Well, he's actually made his run before his teammate had control of the ball and that's why it's offside. Well, that's a super ball over the top. And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. Well, here it is again. The ball over the top is an absolute beauty. And all you can do is admire the finish by Mbappe. He hits the ball so cleanly. It's a fantastic strike. Underway again with the score at 3-1. Bernardo Silva. Here's Ronaldo. Bruno Fernandes. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. beating of the keeper but not the post inches away from scoring yeah that was a great effort he struck it so well he just can't get it inside the framework Kylian Mbappe Hernandez and a chance Hernandez safe pair of hands did his job
France looking dangerous here. Lovely ball over the top. Coman. Firing it towards goal. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. Thirty minutes to go then. Perfect tackle. Well, as you can see, France have had much less of the ball, but that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. And the threat on the counter-attack is very real. Here they come again. Aimed towards Mbappe. Well, threat averted. Joao Cancelo. Portugal looking dangerous. Could pull one back here. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. One terrific save after another. Giroud. It did look on for them, but not to be. Cristiano Ronaldo using his strength to shield the ball. Well, that's the end of that move for now. Giroud just cutting off the supply. Griezmann. He's given it away. Well, strong play here. Joao Cancelo. Leal takes the shot. Well kept out. And they will make the change now. Well, they're going for the short one. And Bernardo Silva has it. And able to get a body in the way. Well, he went strongly into the challenge and the result is a throw-in. Teo Hernandez. Ten minutes to go. Moving forward effectively. Coman. That's not a bad ball. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Well, on the cusp of the final whistle, and the home side really prospering today. Stuart, interested to get your take. Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously been fantastic up front, but it's their work ethic for me. They're just not happy unless they have the ball. And they're fighting to win it back. Oh, whenever. hang on, Stuart, it's a chance. And a fantastic diving save. And they're making a change. And that will be a corner. Trying to pick out a teammate. Not the best clearance. And problem solved for now. Rabio, immaculate placement. Oh, and couldn't convert. Not much time to make up his mind. Well, three minutes of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. Bruno Fernandes. 
Felix. That's excellent defending following the cross. Well, there it is, the final whistle, and France have prevailed in this one. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, Derek, they were dominant in most aspects of the game, particularly in that midfield area, and they also looked threatening in the top third of the pitch. It's a really good result for them. Well, you know, I think Kylian Mbappe enjoyed himself. Your verdict on his performance tonight? Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.